a family of products designed to be easily installed and work seamlessly together to provide complete and customizable communication solutions. Odessia. Over 130 years in the making, using collective knowledge, technology, and research to solve today's communication challenges, overcome challenges with implementation, configuration, and room acoustics. All components required for successful installation for the communication spaces of today and tomorrow. Crystal clear, worry-free remote communications. Odessia. <coughs> Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Greg DeSell from MarkerTech and thank you for joining us today as part of MarkerTech's ongoing webinar tech series. As today our friends from Yamaha Unified Communications are here to talk about the incredible technology in the Odessia multi-beam ceiling microphone system. Before we get going, I wanna thank our friends at Yamaha and also take a moment to go over a few key things as we roll along. We have set aside about 30 to 35 minutes for the key features and presentation of the Odessia system and about 10 to 15 minutes uh, post uh, presentation to do a Q&A session. So please take note of the Q&A section in your Zoom control panel as we welcome all of your questions and uh, thoughts. And for any we may not get to, we can follow up directly after the presentation. <clears throat> Uh, and also, if you're experiencing any video or audio technical issues, uh, certainly put that in the chat as well. And now that we have the general housekeeping out of the way, we are very excited to partner with Yamaha on the Odessia system. It opens up a world of opportunities for educational institutions and distance learning, corporate offices, et cetera, um, even government and training facilities. And that said, I happily introduce today's co-hosts from Yamaha, both Tim Mackey and Greg Carswell, who are experts in the Odessia system and can guide you through its features and help you understand why it's right for you. So uh, thanks for joining us today, fellas. Great, thank, thank you, Greg, we appreciate it. Uh, Tim and I are excited to be here. A uh, couple of things I do wanna clarify up front. Uh, it is a little more than a uh, ceiling microphone array. What we're going to talk about is an entire room solution. So hopefully at the end of this uh, presentation and the Q&A and physical demo of the product, you'll be as excited about this for your uh, conference room spaces as we are to bring it to you. The other point I just wanna clarify is Tim Mackey is actually the real expert on this product. I just ride his coattails. <laughs> I'm here to just kind of help answer a few basic questions. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to my extremely valuable field sales engineer, Tim Mackey. Thank you very much, Greg and Greg, and I uh, appreciate everybody's time today. Thanks for having us. So, yeah, um, Yamaha, uh, just so those of you know, I'm actually working remotely here in Austin, Texas at my house. And uh, I used to race Yamaha bikes when I was in my 20s. I'm a bit of a motorcycle nut. So it's, it's kind of funny now actually working for Yamaha, but I'm in a 30 by 50 building, which is actually my kind of man cave workshop here at home. And uh, we'll kind of take a look at a demo of the system that I've put in this building. But so right off the bat, Yamaha for me was, you know, motorcycles. And then I became aware of them through guitars and drums and whatnot. So everybody's kind of got their own experience, but I've never really run into anybody these days that doesn't know Yamaha. An amazing company. And here's kind of a, a highlight list of, of, of the company's achievements, but really important for us today. Uh, 1960, entering the US market. And really since 1968, 69, Yamaha has been processing audio, doing audio processing. That is a, a vast 50 years plus of experience for Yamaha. Uh, and again, there are so many divisions of Yamaha, it's really hard to talk about all of them, but I'm trying to highlight some that are really pertinent to us. Here we are up in the top right, this is the Unified Communications Division. 
And two years ago, uh, this February, I got to go to our world headquarters in Hamamatsu, Japan, and I was blown away at all the other divisions that are under the same roof in our new $100 million innovation center, which we'll take a look at. But for example, right here, uh, the, the Virage mixers, you know, these outfitted are over a million dollars. I didn't realize Yamaha was just a real leader in live sound processing and analog uh, and chip signal and processing. Down here, the home theater division, and we're leveraging, we're leveraging technologies from these other divisions to bring into the the UC space. For example, with the home theaters, you buy a Yamaha 7.1 surround sound system, it comes with a microphone that you put on the couch right where your listening position is, and it's going to play pink noise out of all of the speakers and analyze the acoustics of that environment through feedback into the microphone. And it's going to tune that system for that listening position in that room, in that environment. We're bringing that level of automation into, into the UC space with Adesia and our 1000, our YVC 1000 as well. We'll take a look at the Odessia today specifically. Another thing that kind of blew me away being an old Cisco engineer was Yamaha is the Cisco of routing and switching in Japan. They had, I think, a 55% market share. They're actually the number one provider of Ethernet network infrastructure for small to mid-sized businesses. And we're using their Dante Layer 2 switches in our audio routing as well. So I highlight this because this is the building I got to go to. 130 years in business with 50 years of audio processing. I think Yamaha is unique in that the speaker division, the DSP division, all of them are housed in the same building. And it was neat because the Innovation Road Museum here is at the bottom. Um, literally hundreds of patents uh, attributable to Yamaha. This is the world's largest indoor echo chamber. I've actually worked for a US DSP company back in the day, and I think all of their test rooms would fit in one end of this chamber. It was just amazing. It's 30 feet wide by 46 feet deep and over 43 feet high. Yamaha also has ergonomic test rooms, vibration experimentation rooms, and really important to us in the UC space and in the audio space, is adjustable reverberation rooms so we can adjust the RT60, the reverberant times from say 0.3 seconds up to about a second and a half, 1.6 seconds. So again, real leaders in world audio, specialty audio processing chips. And we're now also leading the way with artificial intelligence in audio as well. We continue to have uh, amazing DSPs come out of Japan. We have Dugan gain sharing technology. Uh, we have really have world-class DSP technology as well. This is a look at our DSP and speaker room. And bringing it together with AV over IT, Yamaha was one of the single largest initial investors in Audinate, Dante. So we're real big in Dante audio. So here's a what just one room of that museum is amazing. And here we are, the UC division proudly displayed with all the other audio divisions and sharing the same technologies all under one roof. So this, again, brings Yamaha to be in a unique position to bring many technologies to bear in this sector. A lot of our competitors have some of these features, but maybe not all are brought to bear in their UC products. Two of the unique features to Yamaha are human voice activity detection. We can literally differentiate between speech and background noise. This allows us to do a better job with some of these other technologies, like noise reduction, for example. Noise reduction, we're looking for steady state noises, HVAC, fans from projectors, that sort of thing, and canceling them. Well, most other competitors have to tiptoe around the speech range of, uh, of the human hearing range for fear of actually re blocking out the speech. We don't have to tiptoe through it. We can filter from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz right across the spectrum. So that unique technology Yamaha brings to bear really elevates the other technologies that folks use in this space. Automatic audio tuning, we talked about that a little bit with the uh, 7.1 surround sound. And uh, there's a quick six minute video on YouTube of me tuning the system in five minutes after plugging everything together. So check that out too. But um, we take a look at adaptive echo canceling. Let's kind of go around the clock here. We talked about noise reduction, echo canceling. You got to have an AEC canceler for every microphone channel. We have one that's really second to none. And I'm going to show you a quick example of that. 
automatic gain control. This adjusts in a meeting for people that speak very quietly and folks like me that are a little bit on the loud side. You know, as a presenter, I'm, I'm generally a little louder. So we can compensate with that within the system as well. Automatic room EQ, again, we've talked about that. Automatic tracking, we can literally track to your lips, as I'm gonna show you as I walk around this room later. And dereverberation, this is where that echo chamber, that large chamber testing comes into value. We literally have technology that a lot of folks don't put in there. Back in the day when I first was doing this, we used to have ANSI standards for rooms, audio, you know, audio, audio um, requirements. You wanted a 35 dB background in a typical conference room. We had acoustic panels, carpeting, treatments, considerations for acoustic in rooms. We don't have that anymore. We now have architectural considerations and corporate transparency bringing us glass conference rooms. They look amazing, they're very cool to be in, I guess, but audio-wise, they're terrible. So these technologies help. We literally test our equipment in these really challenging environments. So really quick, we're gonna talk about the Odessia, but I want you guys to know that all of these technologies are across the entire product line from Yamaha UC all the way down to these little products here, like the YBC 200. This is a, a on-the-go piece with a 10-hour battery. It's really second to none. Um, it's got an Omni mic, so you can have three or four people around it and have a conference. Uh, before the virus hit, I didn't go anywhere without this in my backpack. It will play my music, seamlessly transition to my phone calls, USB, amazing little on-the-go device. And it's packed with all of those technologies. It's useful in all of these environments. And again, AEC, adaptive AEC, noise reduction, automatic gain control. What I really liked about this when I had it on the go was I was in a noisy Starbucks one day. I plugged in my earbuds to the headphone jack. I used all of the technology of the mic on the table and had a private Zoom call in a noisy environment and nobody knew where I was or that I was being a problem from a noisy far end. So. Most people don't think about the echo canceller and UC devices. People often ask me, Tim, why Yamaha? What's better about Yamaha? Well, anyone can make a plastic clamshell enclosure. Anyone can put a speaker and a microphone in a device. It's the processing between those two that really makes the difference. You know, moving your laptop lid really changes the echo path when you have a UC device right next to it. You know, we don't think about this. I'm gonna show you a quick video that illustrates the technology we're talking about. This is a Zoom call, it's recorded using Zoom. And we're gonna start with a device that looks similar to ours, the Jabra Speak 510. And we're gonna put it through its paces as far as its echo canceller. And then we'll swap over to the Yamaha. In a typical meeting, you may not be always sitting still. Sometimes you move papers, your computer, or even the actual device. In this experiment, we're showing how the echo cancellation of a device can be affected by these changes. You may not even recognize that you are creating echo for the far end. Right now, we're showing the Job or Speak 510 MS. Did you notice any difference? And now we'll run the same scenario with the YVC 200. In a typical meeting, you may not be always sitting still. Sometimes you move papers, your computer, or even the actual device. In this experiment, we're showing how the echo cancellation of the device can be affected by these changes. You may not even recognize that you are creating echo for the far end. Right now, we're showing the Yamaha YVC 200. Did you notice any difference? So sometimes I think a quick video clip is worth uh, a dozen or more PowerPoint slides. So thank you for that. So yeah, that's a kind of an example of the technology we bring to bear now. What Odessia does is really bring this to the next level. This is really the delivery of what we've all been talking about for the last 10 years, the marriage of AV and IT. You know, automation has been lacking in the UC space. I'm gonna take a look at that today, but here silhouetted in this picture is the Odessia system in its simplest form. It's a ceiling microphone array, state of the art for conferencing. We'll take a look at that. Line array speakers, again, specifically for conferencing. I wouldn't have thought of line arrays for this application, but we'll look at why they work very effectively. And the new RMCR processor, and by the way, the mic's called uh, the RMCG, and the new CR processor is the other half of that marriage. And together, they do some powerful things and combine to make the solution, make this family product. And by the way, everything is a single Cat5 plug into this switch. That switch is the only thing that plugs into a 110 outlet. 
This is the future right here. Everything on a single Cat5, back to a switch, plug and play. The second you're done plugging all the components into this switch, you open up the GUI. Oops, excuse me, I jumped ahead of slide. Sorry, folks. Um, here's the layer two. Uh, that's what you get when you have the preview slide going, I guess. But uh, here's the meat and potatoes of it. This is the layer two topology. This is the layer, layout of a full blown Odessia system at the moment. So check this space coming up. Yamaha has got a big investment in this. There's going to be more pieces to this puzzle, more family components. We're going to have new products coming out in 12 months, 18 months. It's a really exciting time. But right now, this is the full-blown Odessia system. And it's composed of up to two of the RMCG mics, two of the line arrays, and the CR processor, which connects to your, you know, we'll talk about this. This is your input output for your, uh, for your uh, conferencing. Everything plugged to the switch, which is the only point of power over a single Cat5. There's the slide. And then all you have to do is open up the GUI. And literally, folks, it's a five-step process with this GUI. We've got videos demonstrating this on YouTube. I open the GUI, and it's going to say, hey, are these the devices you want to register for this, this solution? And if you're deploying more than one system, you can flash the LEDs by clicking a button right here and identifying which one's which. Or, you know, write down the MAC address. But I wanted you to be aware of that for mass enterprise-wide deployments of multiple systems. But basically, I'm going to go, yeah, that's my seat microphone. Those are my two speakers. Click, click, click. It's going to say, is this your left one? You flash the light. That's my left. That's my right. It's then going to say, please be quiet. You click execute. And it's going to run about a 90-second process and tune the room just like those home systems. It's going to set your inbound audio levels to the speaker, your initial gain structure on the mics, all your AEC, all of your acoustic considerations for your typical DSP settings based on the acoustics of that room that it's in. It's literally like having an audio engineer come into that room and spend a half a day dialing it all in. Literally, an IT manager, an office manager is now capable of a five-step process to execute world-class performance in a conferencing environment. Now, Odessia is not targeted for every one of your applications. We're really looking at about 90% of those conferencing environments out there. Anything from a room like this up to about a 40 by 60 area, you know, a training or reconfigurable space area. But let's talk about what the real heart of this system is right now, and that's this new microphone. This is specially developed. I was in, when I was in uh, Hamamatsu two years ago, I was looking at the prototypes of this. We brought the Shore and the Sennheiser in-house. But basically what this is, is it's a microphone that's generating dynamic, narrow focus beams using HVAD and fo focusing on the people in the room, not any other noise sources. So for example, I couldn't have 30 people in here like a choir singing and have all of their voices captured by this microphone. It wouldn't work that way. That's not what it does. But if Dave's sitting right here, he's going to get a beam on him when he starts to talk. Sally starts to talk. She gets a beam. Jane starts to talk. She gets a beam. Steve starts to talk. He gets a beam. Dave gets up and walks over into the corner of the room, which might be a null spot for other systems. And that beam tracks him and is locked onto him. He sounds as good standing in the corner of the room as he does sitting at that table. That's what this thing does. The curves, the processing are all designed for a ceiling location. It, you know, it's different EQing than we have on gooseneck table mics. So this was the real revolutionary development piece for the Odessia solution is this microphone. And we're going to take a closer look at that. Pair that up with the line arrays. But the other thing that's really cool here, Yamaha has loaded this with interface options. You've got USB, which I'm talking to you on now, analog in and out, Cisco codecs, you know, lecture capture out, record out, program audio in, Bluetooth, and a full SIP endpoint. And by the way, you can, uh, we have a full open API. This can be fully controlled from any AMX, Crestron, or third party control touch panel as well. So again, these are the pieces. These are the new pieces, RMCG, RMCR. Let's take a closer look at these line arrays now. They are 44 inches tall. 
two inches wide and four inches deep. They are fully ADA compliant when flush mounted and they come with the flush mount kit. They look very elegant at the head of the table, but here's the real magic, right? They're a true line array. There's 16 inch and a half match driver elements in here. A traditional point source speaker is gonna radiate in 360 degrees. You're gonna bounce off the floor and the ceiling, typically hard surfaces. Here, it has a horizontal pattern of 170 degrees, yet only a 25 degree vertical dispersion. So it's not bouncing off the floors and the ceilings. It's really projecting the audio through the, the room as it should be. The thing that really impressed me with the VXLs is over a 40 foot distance, it's only 9 dB down at the back uh, at 40 feet. So if I was standing here 40 feet away, it's only 9 dB quieter than having my face against the grill. So now you can have this 40 foot room with maybe a 20 foot table in here, and I only have a 40, a 4 or 5 dB variance across that table. It's almost like having zoned speakers and individual amp channels in the ceiling. So if you get a chance to experience these, I recommend that they're phenomenal speakers for this application. Again, this is the bracket they ship with. Mine are mobile. I'll show you those here in a minute. I have them on the tripod mounts and you can get an angled articulating mount as well. So we've got a few applications covered there. They come in white and black, but hey, get funky with your space. They're fully panable. The heart of the system is the switch. Now, Dante runs on just about any switch. So if you have a requirement, it has to go on your switch or your company's switch. Most simple layer two switches support Dante. It's really LLDP, Link Layer Discovery Protocol. These are not layer three switches. They're not programmed. You don't need to log into a CLI. It is plug and play. Our switch is 240 watts. The system is PoE plus. That's 30 watt support, which is driving the, uh, the speakers as well. Here's a look at the ceiling mic. You know, Yamaha is a classy company. We didn't want to get involved in any IP infringement or any lawsuits regarding, you know, clear one and, and all that with ceiling tiles. So this is actually a little bit smaller than a ceiling tile replacement. You mount this in a ceiling just like you would a speaker. You cut a round hole and mount it in. It comes with a ceiling tile T-bar kit. So if this was in a ceiling tile, here's a little closer look, you'd see a little bit of the ceiling tile around the outside. And that way we're avoiding all IP patents. In, so this is a good look at how it would look flushed in sheetrock as well as the drop ceiling, right? We also have provisions for a visa mount, 100 millimeter pitch, and we also have M6 threaded rigging points. Uh, I'm suspending mine like this with 16 gauge wire I got from Home Depot, and I'll show you mine here in a little, little bit. So. There's some mounting options for it, you know, open spaces. This ceiling, does, uh, this ceiling microphone does not need to be mounted specifically in a drop ceiling, but when you buy the Odessia RMCG system or the mic, it does come with this T-bar ceiling mount kit included. So really cool. It comes in white and black. And again, we've kind of covered a lot of these technologies here. It's locking on. We like to think about it as putting a virtual microphone a virtual wearable microphone on every participant in the room. So when we brought our competitors mics in, we really took them apart. The Sennheiser, for example, uses an X or a cross shaped um, microphone array pattern. Shure, for example, uses concentric rings of microphones, kind of like this polar, polar chart here. They have a ring of mics, then a ring of mics, and a ring of mics. We actually developed a spiral pattern for our microphone array. It's pretty cool. When you take the grill off and look at it, it almost looks like a shotgun dispersion, very random. And then you look close and you're like, oh, that's a spiral. We actually ended up with our elements more equidistant from each other than even concentric ring mics. Very, very cool layout from Yamaha. We actually are using these red very, very focused, about a 15 degree narrow beam. Now let's take a typical room and you look at the shore mic where you have to configure these eight lobes for the room. Just dividing the room into 360 degrees, you're gonna end up with these green 45 degree lobes. It's not as clean, it's not as tight as a narrow focused beam. You may have two people within this beam or more background noise. And the blue representation here is a shore focused beam. It's still not as tight as ours, and would create many null spots within the room. Again, the whole premise of our ceiling mic is there's no setup for it. 
no reconfiguration for tables moving or different seating arrangements under it, and it picks up anything within its coverage area. And by the way, in a typical nine to 10 foot ceiling, we're talking about 25 to 30 foot of coverage area. I'm in a 30 by 50 building and I'll, I'll show you some coverage here in a, in a little bit. The other half of this puzzle that makes the complete solution rather than just being a Dante ceiling mic and ceiling speakers is the CR processor. This houses all of that auto discovery, the GUI, the auto tuning of the room. This gives you all your inputs and outputs physically. Um, and it's a really elegant half rack size and comes with an under table mounting bracket as well. You'll notice there's got two XLR connectors on the front. We allow you to directly plug any dynamic mic in and have a town hall meeting or voice lift directly into the room. These inputs are routed directly to the speakers with feedback suppressors for that application. You could plug in two wireless presenter mics here and that we have echo suppressors on here, not full cancellation, but they could participate and be routed to the far end as well. So this is a really cool feature on the Odessia system that you can add in separate mics very, very easily for town hall and local reinforcement. I think we covered how many uh, interfaces are in here. Again, a full API, open API, controllable from AMX and Crestron. What you'll notice on the back panel here, no power. It just plugs in right here back to the switch and gets its power and all the routing is right through there. We also have two other interfaces in here. This could be your SIP switch interface, back to your PoE SIP phone switch. This could be your out-of-band administrative enterprise network management. Over here, you are listening to me now. My laptop is plugged into this port. And if you don't want to use our line arrays, you can have speaker outputs here going to your own amp and speakers. But again, no strippers, no crimpers, no hand tools, no analog connections other than an RCA. It's pretty cool. This is the future, folks, and it's here now. And again, here's your line in and out for your codec or your lecture capture, program audio in, those sorts of things. So you've got a lot of flexibility and it will bridge between these interfaces. There's a quick look at this under table bracket because I'm envisioning this not just being back in the rack, but being on the credenza, being in the room where you can access those XLRs. You know, this could go under the table with a single cat five to it. You could also, if you wanted to, with those XLR inputs, put one of our HD single and HD dual mics with it as well and have two wireless mics for that room. So again, very flexible system. These are the rooms we're targeting with the Odessia system. So let's take a look at the first one up here. Highly reflective surfaces, all of this technology is gonna be brought to bear and give you a much better audio experience in this room. You can start with one mic and expand it to two. One mic will cover this entire room. This room here really speaks to a full-blown Odessia system and just how powerful it can be. This is about a 35 by 40 by 60 training space. I would put two of our ceiling mic arrays in here equidistant to cover this entire space. Now, what's really cool is you could use our ceiling mics with anybody's DSP. Suppose I have a BIAMP DSP and I connect these two mics to that BIAMP DSP. By the way, we generate three Dante streams with our mic. Echo reference in, fully echo pro processed out because the DSP is built into the mic, not that CR box. And then we have a non-linear, non-process out for say, some of today's uh, voice recognition applications as well. Very state-of-the-art microphone. But suppose you had two of these going to a BIAMP DSP. I might be standing in the middle of the room and a beam from each mic, mic A and mic B is on me, and that's fine. And that'll get mixed together and sent to the far end through the BIAMP. That'll sound good, but it won't sound as clean and as tight as having the Odessia in here go, hey, wait a minute. Mike A has got the better beam on Tim. I'm gonna ignore Mike B and I'm gonna put this beam on him and I'm gonna send that tight, clean signal to the far end. So now I can have many, many beams in this room all locked on to individual participants. I could put the line array speakers at the head end on some columns and project beautifully into this entire space with those speakers. You can move these tables around without having to come in and reconfigure the mic lobes. You could have people sitting anywhere here, lively participating in a Zoom call and have anyone sitting anywhere here speak up and participate in that call. 
you know, this is this room really is uh, an Odessia room for me. In fact, even at this lectern, I could have the CR box in there and have our presenter mics over there as well. So these are the rooms we're targeting for this thing. And, and by the way, as we move back into the work environment, this is a non-touch, hands-free solution as we try to do more social distancing and, and those sorts of things as we move back into what will be a hybrid work environment. And again, this is kind of the last room. We're kind of done here. I think the, the benefits in this room are obvious. No wires on the table. Um, just perfect room for Desia. Hard. In fact, it does look like they have some acoustic treatments in here, but... That's it, folks. This is the system. Uh, it's really game changing in what it does. Uh, it doesn't take a rocket science to scientist to configure it. And let me stop sharing now and turn my camera on. And here we're back. And now I'm going to show you uh, the room I'm in. Take a sip of, a sip of my drink. So hi, here I am. This is my 30 by 50 workspace. Um, the Odessia microphone I hung right up here above me. Uh, just to give you some scale, this is 30 foot wide. Uh, my door is 14 by 14. And I've mounted the Odessia at about 10 foot 6. And as you can see, I can move around over here from my presentation area. And I can sit down here. And I could even do a motorcycle blog show from in here if I wanted. And I'm now 12 feet. I've measured this spot from this microphone. And here's an example of that gain control. As I start to talk a little quieter, and I'm one of those guys that likes to talk quietly at the end of the table, I could even be whispering. Right now, I'm whispering 12 feet away from this microphone. And, and as I start to talk a little louder and a little louder, it's going to compensate for that and adjust for that change in the volume as well as I speak and move around. Right here are the line array speakers. Again, 16 and a half, 16 inch and a half matched high density magnet, you know, real Yamaha line arrays, amplifier section down here, all off of a uh, single cat five. The whole thing's really, really compact. And as I start to back away, I'm now 12 feet away at my fridge here from this microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and even open the door and I'm gonna go ahead and back outside. The beam's on me, even standing outside the building. I'm now outside about 17 feet away and I'm gonna whisper. I'm standing outside the building, whispering. And as I come back in and speak up, so that gives you an idea of just how powerful the beams are when they lock onto you and are tracking. And as I come over here and sit down, I've done all of this without having to put on a present presenter's mic. And let me show you the microphone again, a little close up. Even with my 10 ton air handler, uh, it rejects the noise. I'm gonna go ahead and mute from the Zoom platform here. You'll see the LED indicate that, and it works with any platform. And there we are unmuted. And then off to my left over here, that's my system. That's it. I got some Matchbox cars on there to give you some scale of reference. The two blue ones go to my speakers and the white one goes to the box above it and the other white one goes to my ceiling mic. You can see the white cable up there. So that's if I was to outfit this room completely to go the other far end, I would probably put two of these mics in here, but that covers an entire 30 by 30 by 50 space. So that's a quick example of it. And let's throw it down. Any questions or feedback or comments? on the Odessia system today. Thanks, Tim. We, we have someone concerned about whispering in conference rooms going forward <laughs> if they have Odessia. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, uh, again, the, the, the performance of the beams is, is quite remarkable. Uh, one of the questions we got in, and I think uh, Greg had answered it a little bit, but I'm wondering if the individual wanted to put video through this system or, or similar, but um, had asked if they can use a Lynx Technic uh, one gigabit uh, SFP in the network switch. I, I guess the network switch probably doesn't care, but I don't know if you have. Yeah, further. yeah, yes. I wasn't sure, Tim. I just sent them the spec sheet, but uh, I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, so an SFP shouldn't be any problem. Um, if you're using that, you're obviously using multiple switches, so you've got a fabric there. It's more than one switch. Yes, wherever Dante can travel, we can travel. So the answer to that should be yes. Okay, and I know from from our experience, at least from Lynx Technic, that's one of our video brands more so than than audio. But uh, not that they don't have audio, but that's their main focus. So, gotcha. Uh, 
The other question I had, I think in our conference room in particular, I think you might have answered it with the air handler, but our space is pretty thin. It is, but it's got a projector mounted dead center in the middle of the room. So if we were to mount a, uh, an Odessia mic in there, would we just use a DSP or similar to get the, get the audio, get the fan noise and any other noise away from that? No, the DSP is, that's a great question. And, and we've got one mounted like that in one of our demo rooms in Boston in our headquarters. Yes, uh, the DSP is housed within. If you look up here uh, on the long distance shot, you see that gray, uh, there's a heat sinks. This is, uh, all the DSP is built onto the microphone itself. So um, you don't, we do the noise cancellation. Well, I've turned on my HVAC here and, and uh, run these webinars and people cannot hear it running so that's that's all built into it you can mount it next to it i wouldn't be afraid if there's a shadow you know what you might consider an acoustical shadow we've put them right up against it you don't have to be perfectly line of sight for this uh, system to work so the answer to that question is yes i would have no hesitation to mount that mic right next to your projector yeah, Tim, if you, you go back to your your ceiling mount camera angle too and they can see you've got three you know air handlers right or uh events right above where you yeah are. those are 10 inch ducts and they're about eight nine feet above the mic itself and they get blowing pretty good uh in here to cover this space uh, and there's another look they're just out of view in that camera angle <laughs> they're just above it so yeah and again um you can use lots of these mics with anybody's DSP, right? But when you add it with the desk, with the CRs, when you get that tuning capability, we had one customer say, oh man, I like that system and I love the mic, but we've got an install that requires five of these mics. No problem. It's a Dante mic with all the processing and that magic built into it. So keep that in mind. It does scale um, into larger environments, but the Odessia system itself, like that training room, that's kind of maxed out. Right now we can do two of the ceiling mics in the Odessia system. And two is the max. Two, would... two is the max and as, two of the light ray speakers. Yeah, it's a total solution right now today, but certainly can play with it with uh, bi -amp DSP or any other DSP and have as many of those mics as you want. The real benefit for the mic is in spaces that are reconfigured a lot. Uh, you know, with our competitor, the Shore Mic, it's a rigid setup based on a table layout. So ours is dynamic for the whole area. That's the really, really key uh, differentiator for me. Then mm -hmm. the very focused beams and the tracking technology. Again, Yamaha is uniquely positioned to bring something like this to market. And you're going to see more automation coming into this space. You know, it, this integration hasn't changed a lot really in the 15 years in regard to automating that process. And I think Yamaha is uniquely positioned with these technologies and as a company, having all of this under one hood in one building, sharing all of this, um, it's an exciting time. And again, the Odessia family of products is going to be growing and it's exciting uh, to tell you what's coming next, but I'd get in trouble, so. <laughs> Uh, I also know um, you guys had mentioned, um, I don't know how many of our education customers are on the call today. Could you go over the uh, Dean's List program that they have? We, we do. Yeah, we, we do have uh, a, a yes. special program called Dean's List Education Discount. It's specifically for schools, you know, K through 12, um, higher ed private schools, charter schools, whatever you do. You do have to be basically a .edu or some kind of school organization to qualify for it. Uh, it that just shows Yamaha's commitment to the education market to try and make our solutions as cost effective as possible. Uh, but that is specifically education, so. And also for any of our customers who are on the uh, webinar today, regardless of EDU or not, uh, we could also work with you in terms of a demo unit if you were looking to uh, check this out. And, and Yes, there's a couple of different ways that we can uh, help out with demo situations. Of course, the way we demonstrate this product here on the, on the webinar is really one of the most effective ways because the true value in this Odessia solution is to hear the microphone performance from the remote end. You know, so there's nothing really more impressive than watching Tim uh, do that demo, particularly when he steps outside, you know, and he's, he's 17, 20 feet away, whispering outdoors. 
Uh, it was at that moment, a couple of weeks ago, we had a large group on, uh, and it was a bunch of audio engineers uh, from an integrator. And uh, one guy quickly uh, typed in the chat section, badass demo, you know? <laughs> so it was, that was one of the best reactions we got. But I kind of like, uh, I kind of like Kristen's uh, comment here too about uh, meetings will change when whispers can be heard. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's always, uh, <laughs> there's always somebody thinking about an angle of some kind, I'm sure. So, well, it's kind of funny because our, our audio products work so well anyway, even with things like our, our CS700 soundbar or the, the YVC1000. We have had integrators when um, testing the products, you know, actually come back to me and say, Yeah, we thought about taping up a sign in front of the conference room, like, be careful on what you whisper in this room because the far end will hear it. Uh, we've, we've just taken that to a, a new level now with Odessia for larger spaces. Yeah, it was uh, fortuitous that they put a nice nice mute LED on the ceiling mic so at least you can look up and, and double check. <laughs> yeah. uh, it appears that uh, that's all we have for questions. Uh, well, it looks like one maybe just popped right into the Q&A. Um, yeah, John Wood just said thank you for the network switch okay. link. Great, have access to. Will will they have access to the recording when the webinar is finished? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. one last one. That's a that's a Greg Desell question. Right? Oh yeah, I I know uh, Tim actually has several videos uh, on the Yamaha YouTube channel, but this will this particular demo will be shared on the Marker Tech YouTube channel as well as our other social media outlets. So yes, to answer your question. And one thing I should mention, and that Tim Tim keeps talking about only a five minute process when he does the auto config and auto tuning, the actual process takes about two minutes of that five minute video. So I actually I actually timed it from, <laughs> from start to end. So it's it's even a lot faster than what uh, he's uh, claiming for. Yeah, it, it really is amazing, folks. You mount the speakers, mount the ceiling mic, plug them into the switch, and a few mouse clicks. It's kind of like when you get your home router. It's plug and play, and you get world-class Yamaha audio performance conferencing. It really is where this space is going to be going. So it's nice to lead the way with Yamaha in this area. Great. Well, I think that does it uh, for today. I do want to, again, thank Greg and Tim at Yamaha and uh, our customers for joining us today. As, uh, as I mentioned, this will be available on our social media and YouTube channels. Uh, and please feel free to follow up any questions with your MarkerTech sales representative or send us an email, sales at markertech.com. Uh, have a great afternoon, everybody, and stay safe. Thank yeah, you. We're, we're glad to be here. Thank you, Greg. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity. Take right. care.